yeah so this is the house obviously this big ass pink house you know all the way up to the sky is this is this is my house well not completely mine but it's, it's our family's house you know first of all yeah the house is was not pink when i was little um this is i'm talking like before i was 10 years old when i was really little because when i was 10 i moved to the uk um so before i was 10 years old so like eight years ago at least like more than eight years ago this house wasn't pink uh right here of course we have the little garage like little cover area with the opel of course and then this is my aunt's toyota solara okay with the not oem rims this is ig icw racing rims i don't know they look like 16s maybe uh but yeah i don't know she, apparently she put them on because she got the car new so obviously she had to have put them on whatever uh it's the se so yeah it's the newer one and it's a v6 so the 3.3 liter and uh yeah whatever it's an auto i have never driven it i would like to drive it but it's not mine so i wouldn't even ask to be honest it's pretty sick so the garage yeah the garage didn't used to be like this this whole like cover section wasn't here before this was literally like chicken pens you would walk out this is the back door of the house walk out of the back door and literally right in front of you where the solara is right now there is, there would be chicken pens and fucking animals and then the garage it was actually a garage would literally start right here where this ends and go all the way to that door that pink door would be the front door of the garage and this this whole this whole place wouldn't be because this kind of goes up you can see it wasn't like that before it was literally a hole where the garage was a box fit your car in there that's how it was that's pretty much one of the ma the main change really and obviously everything is pink now it wasn't pink before it was just no paint it was just like it was crusty green kind of falling apart rusty whatever the house wasn't there wasn't any paint or any insulation nothing like that it was just bricks white bricks or whatever the little birds nest that's cool up there right there dude so let me take you out to the front um the front yard has not changed at all um some of you are saying that i should make skate videos in here and stuff but obviously look at this floor yeah look at the gaps i'm having to deal with if i brought my skateboard here i would not be able to roll so there's no point um plus i only could afford fucking hand luggage anyway so whatever so yeah we got the little umbrella shit we got the little table which when it's nice and sunny like this we chill out here and drink coca-cola because i don't like coffee um uh yeah i don't know what else there really is to say about the front yard it's nice the garden the yard that i grew up in basically if i wasn't out into the local like at the local streets um i would be out here just chilling oh i remember actually right here this exact spot somewhere around here literally around this area is where i stood on a skateboard for the first time ever I remember it was, I think my aunt's board or whatever. It was like a cruiser, like a filmer setup, big, big ass wheels, short bearings, obviously. And what I did was I put the tail down and I would stand on it literally like that, like just stand on the tail. I, I think I stood on the tail like that for like two hours straight. And I was like, what the fuck? This is the coolest thing ever. But yeah, this is where I first stood on a skateboard in my life. But yeah, now there isn't really any chickens. There used to be loads of like, chickens mostly like fucking but then apparently they died i don't know we ate them or something i don't know chickens were always cool uh we've always had a cat um but then r.i.p larry the cat he died like a couple years ago he was really cool black and white he would always chill in the garden um we have a cat right now but he's kind of wild he doesn't really like being held and petted he just likes the food but he's cool and oh he's out there like he's a boss don't worry, Chris. If you can see him, yeah, you can see him in there. Look at him. He's so cute. So yeah, that's the cat right now. He's cool. He's just he's just local, you know, he came through. So if you're wondering, yeah, why there's all these metal like structures and like little house metal things with like all these radiators and whatever, it's cause like when I wasn't even born, like a long ass time ago, like 20 years ago or something. Actually, you know, it probably would be more 30 years ago. This would be like a greenhouse and inside there would literally be rows and rows and rows and rows of oh shit what is that flower called in english i don't know but i forget i forget the name of the flower in english 
I know it, but I forget. I'll just show you a picture on the screen right now of the flower they used to have, literally rows and rows of. And that would be their business. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I've, that's what I've been told, the stories and stuff like that. So yeah, that's pretty much the house. I mean, there's one more thing I didn't show you uh, inside. Mad thing, cactuses. Look at this. This guy is already on the ceiling. Um, usually in the summer, obviously when it's really summery, we keep them outside. But yeah, now because it's winter. Sorry, Chris. I actually like cactuses a lot. I really want to get my own, like, when I get my house and stuff like that, wherever I get it, I want to have a cactus. It's actually really nice being back here. Um, I'm going to come more often, definitely, man, because this is so relaxing. You can, I can literally just sit down, like, here or at the in the backyard and just chill, literally, just do nothing, just listen to the life, you know? <laughs> And you might be wondering, what is this fence? What, why are you showing me here? I'm showing you this nice tree first. Second, yeah, this fence and this like flat surface, I don't know what you even call this in English, yeah? Because we don't have stuff like that in England. Um, but in the garden, there's a dog and it's gonna come and bark at me or just kind of say what's up to the camera, you know? He's cool. Um, he barked at me earlier and scared me, but he's cool. So this is a highway. You might be wondering, how is this a highway? Well, when I was little, of course, all I had was a bike and little toy cars like this big, right? Literally like this big, this long and this wide. Um, and all the kids in the neighborhood, we would gather here and we would bring all our best cars. Shit, this tree is a bit low. Right here. And we would race them along here but because we can't really overtake we would just run after each other while we would drag the cars along and of course here you can see this hole this hole has been here for at least like 20 years and um you know because it's literally this area is exactly wide for a little toy car so we would we would kind of slow down right here go really slow get 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 past this and then boost away little flat surface area highway shit is my childhood because i would literally ride my bike from my house which would be about two minutes it would take longer for me to take the bike out of the house than to get here by biking and i would just bring all my cars and just race them along this little thing there was no dog before so there was no one to bark at us but obviously here you can see it's got kind of crusty areas so we would go around and stuff uh, this one time we even tried to fill this up with like sand or whatever but obviously that didn't stay because concrete but yeah so this is really fun these trees weren't this low actually no i wasn't this tall for these trees to really affect me <laughs> uh you might be looking at a little playground and thinking what is this it's new as you can see it's very very new and this was not like literally this is the first time i'm seeing it now that i came on holiday this this week i've saw it for the first time and to be honest i think it's cool it's nice it gives, gives the kids a chance to learn let me show you closer what it actually is you can see it's like roads but they're really tiny so i don't know what car or like vehicle you would bring here but yeah whatever so they have the little signs and stuff like that which is cool um but the reason this area specifically which this thing is on top of is because this used to like if you look over there like that and all the way around basically on the outskirts of this was like a dirt road and in the middle was like a grass field and this tree right here this tree was the edge of the little like road uh and literally this field and this little like ring of dirt road we would like ride our bikes and sort of race each other and everything and it was just like where i spent most of my time really and this tree i've been on this tree like up at the highest points i've been up there i've climbed it and everything i remember when i fell off my bike this one time and they were like no you can't be climbing trees and i was like no i love it climbing trees is like the funnest thing and then I was looking at this little area right now, yeah? 
right here literally specifically on this corner i remember there was loads of rocks like big ass kind of boulder lo sort of rocks and uh first time where i flipped my nail and it wasn't even me it was this guy i used to play with or whatever like a kid when i was a kid i used to play with other kids um he lifted this rock to like for me to find something underneath or something and then he's he i think by accident or maybe on purpose i don't know whatever i think he dropped it right he dropped it right back on my finger and by the time i moved it out of the way my finger got flipped i think it was this one on my right hand so yeah that was the first and only time i've ever had my nail flipped or whatever but this area i'm kind of kind of unhappy that they built this whole thing on top because it was sort of my little area that I used to always come as a child and it would have been sick for me to actually make a video of how it actually looked before um but I think it's still cool you know for the little kids or whatever to learn about the little signs and everything I don't know if this is gonna last in terms of structure and everything but it's still cool <laughs> at the end of my like road that I used to play on like if you look let me try and get at, at a better position you can see you see that road right there that's the road we were just on so you see those little sticks poking out those were the sticks to have okay they were the fashion uh -huh. because basically what we did was it was like a so we had the the three main things you had to have when you come out the house usually your bike okay mountain bike of course and the more suspension it had the cooler you were little toy cars so usually a couple because you bring them in your pockets and the next thing is a fucking stick okay and these are the best sticks see right here someone's already even like ready to pick them up i don't know what they were doing you can see this one yeah this is i don't know what kind of tree this is or whatever what kind of plant but it's kind of like soft and sort of fluffy if that makes sense it's got fur so what we would do is we would peel them and um i don't know how we'd actually do that probably with our nails like that i don't remember and you can see inside it's like green and we would sort of strip it and then that green turns sort of white when it dries up and then it becomes a really stiff stick and it was really light so it was perfect for carrying and i don't know what what we even did with them to be honest but it, you had to have a stick there was probably a reason for my child brain actually no oh my god what the hell this is bringing so many memories man let me try and not die oh yeah you can see some of them have these mad spikes so we do not want to get stabbed with that by that so watch with the spikes um there's a smell of dead animals here so probably some animals died uh anyway <laughs> and this area with all these sticks like up here obviously right now i'm fucking huge like i don't even know i've just gotten fat basically and um actually no yeah we would take the outside route we would honestly spend hours in here bruv trying to find the perfect stick um so we would always climb up here and from the back yeah we would always this is the sort of path we would take not through the middle like that um we would go around through this and you can kind of see there's little paths and whatever to try and find the best stick so what we would do is see these ones now they're too too thick so we can't really break those we would go for sort of thinner ones not thin ones like this but sort of medium ones like this this would probably be a perfect one um and we would uh okay there's spikes over there i don't want to go there um up here as well oh my god this is literally bringing back so many memories this is the most familiar place on earth to me jesus this is so cool but they are seasonal so see right now like april time beginning of april is when they're perfect like this because in the winter obviously they don't really grow they sort of die out and then in the summer i think they they blossom so all of these flowers are in the way and shit so we wouldn't come here in the summer we would just get them when we're 
in the winter, not in the winter, but like April times, and would make a stick. See, I'm looking at this one. I'm really tempted to just break it. For some reason, it just makes so much sense for me to just break this right now and take it home and skin it. But I'm not because I don't want to destroy the nature. But we would do that and we would sort of go around here and stuff, go all the way around like, I don't know what we were even doing to be honest. Uh, I see this hill too. Oh yeah, this hill. I have the maddest memory of this. Oh, what is going on here? Mad thing dropped. Oh, there was a cat, wild cat. Uh, so yeah, let me try and get down here. Hopefully I don't fuck my shit, you know, slide around and everything. Oh, that's pretty easy, man. See, I come from this area. What am I worried about? So you might be wondering once again, what is this road? What are you talking about? Well, this road, uh, we used to race our bikes down this road. We would go all the way up and pedal and then go as fast as we fucking can down this shit. And we would race and try and uh, beat whoever, you know, beat each other down the hill um, and then one time uh, at the end at the bottom you see where that dog is all the way down there where where this ends and the little other the other street ends like that there was like tire tracks from like a big ass tractor and it sort of dug a hole in the mud and uh, I didn't really pay attention and I thought I could go through it, I think. I don't know, I don't remember properly, but I fully just dived right into the hole and the front wheel of my bike got stuck. And I flipped forward and I hit my head or something. And uh, I had to go to the hospital and everything. I had a concussion and shit like that. Um, I don't remember it happening. I remember that I went, had to go to the hospital and I remember I was biking, but that's it. So yeah, this is why this road's significant. We would go here to a lot, the little, um, here, the, the concrete, what do you call this stuff? I don't even know. Concrete supports for a building. You see this? This is a dead dog. This is fully a dead dog. This is not a prop. This is a dead dog's skull. That's fucked. This is the kind of shit we would find. This was way more filled in before I remember that, for sure. This area was not dug up like this. Like, you can see how high up, like, there's a little... So, yeah, this was, this was more filled in, and we could fully... We could actually, like, jump from the floor to this area. So, it was, like... It was, it was pretty filled up. Um, so, yeah, this is another area we would chill at, I guess. I don't know what we would even do here, but yeah but to be honest the whole idea was that i'm not really allowed to leave the area of my house because i think from here you can if you look properly you can probably see my house the house my house the like that that way and pretty much what my mom had done is draw a little map of the local area and she said you can't leave these roads if you go further than these roads you're grounded right so I would go on my bike and I would literally just go near the roads nearest my house. And that's where I would be allowed to go. So yeah, as I'm walking back, um, earlier actually, weirdly, a uh, pretty cool uh, coincidence, you know, one of the friends from when I was really little, um, he was, he, he's back right now and he's at his house. So my gran was like, oh yeah, come and meet him again freaking more than 10 years later like i don't even know how long it's been um so i saw him and he's at his yard like out front of his house he's working on a honda civic 2.2 red four door so that's pretty cool because you can see that the whole like little cars racing and shit he was one of the people that i used to race on the little um fence place with with the little cars um see it's carried on for life you know he's bought himself a honda civic and it looked clean as hell too no rust no nothing it fully looked out of like straight out of fast and furious so that was really cool he was trying to find some stuff about the oil filter um but yeah that's uh i'm pretty sure that's gonna do it for this series um 
I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, I definitely have like filming these videos about my roots and everything. It's it, it, it really is sort of like warming my heart, you know, like remembering and sort of reliving it kind of. Hopefully it's not too windy and you can hear me. I'm definitely coming back here and I'm going to do other stuff most likely, but I'm leaving tomorrow and then I'm flying back on Saturday. It's Thursday today, but yeah, thank you for watching and um, my social medias are going to be in the outro and then if you buy anything from the link in the description, acidapparel.bigcartel.com, that really will help me and my channel uh, to for better content and stuff like that. I uh, hope you enjoy this again, I'm going to say it at least like 50 times, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Oh my god.